Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Camelia, and I create holistic lifestyle content. And y'all, today, today, we're going to be talking about budget grocery shopping, meal planning, and also I'm just going to share with y'all what I'm going to be meal planning and meal prepping for this week. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right. So real quick, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up because I know you're going to like it already. Let's do that a little housekeeping before we get started. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know if you've heard of budget grocery shopping before, before we get started. Well, first off, let me explain to you what budget grocery shopping is. Essentially, it is just planning out everything in an efficient way before you actually get to the grocery store. So number one, the first thing you want to do with budget grocery shopping is check inventory. This is before you do any planning, shopping, or anything. You want to check inventory. You want to see what items you already have on hand in your fridge, in your pantry, in your freezer, everywhere. <laughs> Just check and see what you already have on hand and write that out because this is what you're going to include when meal planning. This is an efficient way and a sustainable way to ensure that you are using everything that you have and not wasting food. Number two, after you check inventory, you want to go ahead and begin to meal plan. Yes, this is the time where you actually sit down with your list of your inventory items and you plan out exactly what you can make with the food that you already have on hand. And then you're just gonna essentially add ingredients to that list when you're meal planning. I'll give you an example. So some of the items that I have on hand are sweet potatoes, quinoa, chickpeas, lentils, all of my everyday pantry items like my chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. I've also got pistachios, cashews. These are things that I already have on hand. So when I'm meal planning, I'm going to keep these things in mind. So now that I know what I have in inventory, now I'm going to go ahead and meal plan. So with the items that I already have, I know that I can bulk prep some quinoa. Also, I know that I can go ahead and make my chickpea salad tuna salad some people like to call it but yeah my chickpea salad that i love to make really easy and tastes so good i can also make some chili this week so keep that in mind now we're going to go to the next step actually creating a grocery shopping list let's do that so consider everything that i just told you that i already have on hand now all i'm going to do is add items to this in order to fill in meals and foods for the rest of the week so I'm going to add pinto beans. I know I want pinto beans. Um, I'm going to add some cabbage in there. I'm going to add some more sweet potatoes. I only have one sweet potato on hand. So I'm going to be adding some um, more sweet potatoes so I can bulk prep that. Oatmeal, fruit to the grocery list. So grapes, oranges, a kombucha because I'm out of kombucha. Also red onion. That is pretty much my grocery list. I also already have zucchini. I forgot to mention that. Obviously, I'm not actually writing it down right now because I'm standing here talking, but um, I wouldn't have to backtrack had I just went in the kitchen and actually went through the budget grocery plan and wrote everything down. But yeah, I also have zucchini and squash in there too. So we'll be making that too. But all right, now I have my grocery list. Now when I make my grocery list, I'm gonna make sure that I'm organizing everything in a certain way. I'm gonna organize it in the way that I actually shop in the store. This prevents you from having to backtrack and go in circles and you don't have to worry about just being in the store for a very, very long time. This is just another way to be efficient with our time. I'm gonna make sure I put my produce in a category any beans or shelf pantry items in a category, then any like freezer items in a category, any other refrigerator items in a category as well. But let's review real quick what we've already done. So we have checked inventory, we've meal planned. Now we're creating the grocery list. So now what you're gonna do is head to the grocery store with your list and you're gonna shop the items. I did my online pickup order at Kroger and I shop everything that way. It's easier for me to do it that way so I don't have to take my children to the store. So that's what I did and I got those items. If you haven't watched that grocery haul video, make sure you go back and watch that. I'll leave it up there in the corner. I'll leave it there for you. Go watch that and then come back here. All right, after you grocery shop, you got all your items, you come back, you're gonna begin to actually meal prep. 
And that is how I budget grocery shop, y'all. It is, or like I said, it's really efficient. It, it helps me stay on budget with everything, stay within my budget for the week on groceries. And if I forget any items, it's like, oh well, unless they're very, very important. I actually have a budget grocery shopping template made for you guys. Make sure you check the description box for that. And it is literally $7 right now. That's it, just $7, y'all. $7 to invest in something that will save you money, save you time, and also save you energy, <laughs> which is something that I know many of us are looking to do. If you're not looking to do all three of those things, you're at least looking to do one of those things, I'm sure. So make sure you go ahead and grab that. That link will be in the description box. Look right here on the screen. I'll put it right here for you so you can see everything that is included. That link will be in the description box. So make sure you go ahead and grab it. So now that we have that part all done, now it's time to actually meal prep everything. Now for me, I like to meal prep for two to three days. I don't like to do a whole lot because, you know, eating plant-based, the food will go bad pretty quickly, you know. I think most things only stay, only last in the fridge for two, they say two to four days, but I do two to three days just to be like on the safe side. And plus it loses nutritional value also as you leave it in the fridge longer and longer. Make sure you stay tuned for the actual meal prep video, which will be coming soon. Stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found any of this information helpful, make sure you like this video and leave a comment. Let me know which tip you're looking forward to trying out in your routine. Peace y'all.